Yeah, Cyril, um, well, he was beautifully created by uh, Tony Gilroy in the conversations that we'd had and the um, stuff that was just on the page uh, was so evocative. And it was very clear, as you said, he's someone who's in flux, trying to discover who he is. And he, further down the line in the show, you can see he actually you see where he comes from. You meet his mother mm. and you see his, his childhood home and you understand that there was a lot of lack, there was a lot of um, shame, there was a lot of bullying. And so there's a person who's trying to circumvent where he came from mm. and achieve to the best of his capability to become something to someone. And that something or someone just happens to be the corporate kind of nature of the empire, which is where you first find him in the first couple episodes. And he, I think, his past gave him an obsession with order and justice and needing to feel that um, he was right and other people were wrong mm -hmm. because he was always an outsider. Mm -hmm. And the empire you see also, I think when two people who've been kind of traumatized as children then enter a system like the Empire which is a rewards based system if you behave a certain way and do things a certain way you'll get honored yeah. for those things and so it's a way to build your self-esteem isn't it that's essentially like psychologically what I think they have in common mm. if I if I am a if I'm really good at this then I'll be told I'm really good at it which will make me feel good about myself and that's why characters like this can become quite dangerous because they're out to get their self-esteem from something that is you know essentially a fascist empire yeah it's much more linear and um, like as you cleaner. say it's cleaner and more rewards based than general life is like yeah. Cyril wouldn't be great becoming a depressive poet even though I'm yeah. sure he tried or a rebel there's no rewards yeah. Or a rebel. Because exactly. rebels are punished constantly. Whereas yeah. in the Empire, if you're if you behave really well, you get the sweets, you know? It's really yeah, the yeah. rewards based system for, for people who haven't got a lot of self esteem is a, a dangerous system dangerous. to exist in. Yeah. Star Wars as a world, as a universe, which was set up initially and created from the brain of George Lucas. What he created was a world which was at once both epic and intimate. A huge fantasy and yet at its heart a family drama, a love story. And so I think as viewers it allows us to escape to a galaxy far, far away and yet we can see ourselves in it. We can recognize what we hope for, what we struggle with, what we f want to fight for in those characters. It, it is almost, you know, working on, on Andor, Tony's themes are so huge, they're so brave, they're so ambitious. And yet it is deeply and integrally human. So it, it can, could feel Greek. It could feel like a Greek storytelling. It is at once epic and intimate. It is like the orchestra. You have these beautiful arias, and then you have this drum beat that comes in. You have all these, these, these uh, instruments that have to come together to tell this collective story. It is, it is really special.